Ladies and welcome back to my channel and another video. Today's video is going to be a Primark haul. I popped into Primark after a one month ban. Yes, you heard it. A one month ban in Primark. How did I even survive? How did I live? I banned Primark for the whole of January. So here I am in February at the start because I had to get in literally by the 2nd of February. I was in Primark. I was shopping because I could not stand not being in Primark any longer. I picked up literally a huge bag of stuff. Um, it is a huge Primark haul. I've got a couple of clothing items. I've got some homeware stuff. I've got some accessories. A big mixed bag from Primark today. So if you want to see what I got in Primark, then keep on watching. If you've just stumbled across this video from searching Primark hauls, hello, my name is Harriet Mills. I am 23 years old. I live on the west coast of Scotland on the Isle of Skye. Um, I live in a one bedroom flat with my boyfriend, Lou. Um, and I just do videos on vlogs, daily, daily life vlogs, real raw vlogs I do um, fashion hauls budget homeware shops home bargains B&M's Poundland all these shops that I know a lot of us girls love if you can save the dollar this channel is the right place because I love a bargain. I do food shop hauls and I just do a complete mix of videos on this channel. So if this is the sort of videos you like to see don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also if you're a regular a huge thumbs up. Without further ado guys, let's get on and I will show you what I got in Primark. So first of all, I'm going to start with my probably most favourite item. I literally cannot understand how I've never bought jeans in Primark before. I've never bought a pair of jeans in Primark before. But I saw these um, and I actually thought at first they were full price, but they were half price at the checkout. Isn't that just like the best thing ever? It's these wet look jeans, which oh my gosh, I tried on and I was like... Oh my gosh, I have been looking at Miss Selfridge and Topshop at the moment for like those leather look jeans. I have found the perfect leather look jean for £5 down from, what's it down from? £15 down to £5. So I got them in a size 6. Um, they're super high waisted and it says they are super high waist skinny. Um, they're super high waisted and they've got this gorgeous like leather look um Sort of just leather look jean. Um, they are the perfect length. It doesn't say the length on them, but it says they're a premium wash. They've got this gorgeous belt in the middle here. This gorgeous like silver belt. And the thing is, you can take this belt off as well and just have them as normal jeans. And they've also not got a button. Like I loved that one set. When I took the belt away and realised that it didn't have a button and it's got that kind of look one set. See that? So it looks just so effortlessly on. Effortlessly on when they're like that and if you wanted to wear, I don't know, I just think they're the most lovely design of jeans. I got them in a size 6 and they were £5. I'm kind of regretting not picking up two pairs because at the moment I love the whole wet look jean look with like a um, brown, what are they called? Like a, just like long jackets with these trainers and just making it look super sleek but super casual and I just, that is literally my love in life at the moment. I love wearing things like that um, and I just think they are really nice. I wish I'd got two pairs for £5 purely because then I've got one to kind of like alternate between but for £5 I'm not going to complain. They are honestly really, really nice. But the only thing I would say, the, down, the only downside I can see to them is they feel a bit plasticky but they kind of have a bit of a... You hear that? Bit of a noise, but I think if you got them from anywhere else, it would make the same noise. It's that kind of material. But yeah, love these. Next thing I picked up is just, just this normal grey sweatshirt. They're the five pound ones. They literally are just like loungewear to me. They're so cosy. They've got the super fleecy inside to them. Um, and that's always a give. It's always a yes or no to me. If it has the fleecy lining, I am in. I am buying it. Excuse that bit of fake tan there. Um, I need to scrub it off in a second. Basically, I'm trying to... I was um, trying to get all my fake tan off my hands, but then I wanted to give a little bit of glow to my face because it's the last day of my fake tanning. Like, as in, like, tonight I will redo it all. But my face had gone really pale and my neck still had a bit of tan on it, so I wanted to just dab my face with a bit of fake tan. And in the process, I got my finger. Marvellous, Harriet. Just going to look great there. I'm going to scrub it before I go to work today so I don't have, like, a random fingered tan. Um, anyway, I got this grey sweatshirt jumper. I literally love these. I wear it with, like, grey joggy bottoms. Took it in. Bit of Tommy Hilfiger trainers. Big puffer jacket. And you are set to go for a cash day out. Um, I got it in a size small. It was £5 and it's 10 to 12 the size small. But I always size up because the extra small is a 6 to 8. Yeah, and I always get the size up, but I literally love it. And I think I might even size up a bit more next time for just that extra, extra baggy look. But I just don't want it to look stupid, so I never dare the size up. But I really, really like this. It's just a super cosy sweatshirt, 
perfect for this time of year because let's face it in sunny Scotland we don't get much of a spring I then got the matching joggy bottoms oh my goodness well no I then got the black joggy bottoms I can't remember particularly why I got the black ones when I've just bought a gray sweatshirt but I think there was no black sweatshirt tops to match this and there was no gray sweatshirt bottoms to match the other ones I just got one of each because I've got other sets in the house they um, cuffed at the bottom um, they're just black, black joggy bottoms really. Um, I got them in an extra small which is a size 6 to 8. They are super, again, fleecy in the middle. When I go into any shop, it doesn't matter what shop it is, I'll go to the item and I'll do the test. I'll be like, oh that's a lovely sweatshirt. And then I have to do the, is it fleecy inside? Is it not fleecy inside? It's not going in my basket. Um, so even in the summertime, I've always got to have that like fleecy lining in the middle um, because purely just I hate the feeling when it's not fleecy. And once it's got about five washes and it's not fleecy inside anymore, I have to admit, I give it to I hand it I give it to a charity shop or I'll sell a big bundle of jumpers on because I just cannot stand that feeling of not having the fleecy line in the middle. That's one of my weird habits. Like I don't know. I'm just that's what I'm like. Um, but yeah, five pounds for these. Literally love them. They will last a good few months. Um, and I really really like these. They're just black and yeah, black. It just goes with everything, doesn't it? Black. I don't know if I said them then. They're a five pounds, so it's just such a bargain as well. Next thing I picked up in Primark is this oh my gosh it's a bit different for me i've actually ripped the box trying to get it all back in to show you but it's this hanging faux plant um i just feel like i need to get more stuff on the walls and the flat at the moment and in the corner of our living room if you follow me on instagram it's at basically a princess i always post pictures of like my living room tv unit my pink velvet chair in the corner and my fairy lights and i just really love that corner of my house i just i don't know i just think it's really really nice so i felt like above my pink velvet chair i could put this gorgeous it was 10 pounds this gorgeous hanging plant i would take it out but i can't flip and get it back in it's got this gorgeous rose gold hanger it's in a white pot and it's green okay in fact let's just let's just break the rules let's take it out here it is how lovely is that so like below the it's got a really horrible plastic smell i must admit so i need to spray something nice on it it's got this gorgeous like um white pot with like not rose gold it's almost like a coppery kind of color um metallic -y kind of gold metal and then this gorgeous like hanging plant i even think before my youtube videos i feel like i should maybe even have it in the background here I just feel like it's really, really nice. So I need to get some DIY skills and get that up on the wall because I'm not very good at um, getting stuff like this up on the wall. Um, yeah. For £10, though, I just feel like it's really nice and it looks so much more expensive than £10. Um, but I must admit, guys, it looks much bigger in this video than it is because I was watching a few other YouTubers' video about this and I was like, oh, I really want one of them. But then I got it home, obviously, myself and realised it's not actually as big as it looks on the camera. So it's... It is a little bit deceiving, like I feel like I need to get a shelf from B&M's or Home Bargains or something. It's not as big as it looks on the camera. Slight rip, but it's back in. Next in the Primark homeware section, I picked up another bargain. This time of year is great for the fleeces and things like that because my mum was gutted. She went in in the first couple of weeks in January, picked up this at full price, which was £12. And then she came in with me the next week and it was £5. Mum was devastated. I was gutted. I was gutted for her but happy for my bargain at the same time five pounds down from 12 pounds this large pink fluffy throw oh my goodness i am so particular about how my throws feel but look how much quality how much fabric you get for the money um it's just so super fleecy and super soft and i cannot wait to have a hot water bottle a cup of tea and just sit all cozy in this kind of big marshmallowy fleece i literally love it um yeah it's just such a good buy for five pounds they had loads of colors as well they had a beige one they had a i think they had like a burgundy one and a there was another color there but i can't remember a gray one but i picked up the pink because i just think it's really cute and it'll match my kind of like cute fairy like vibes with my brown sofa i think it'll look really nice and i literally love this five pounds how can that even be possible i then picked up two headbands um the day we went shopping in Primark, I'd actually just got my hair done. So if you're new to my channel and you didn't know already, um, and you don't know, um, my hair was literally down to here. I got it all chopped off about a week ago now. Yeah, a week. It'll be a week tomorrow that I got it chopped off. So I picked up some headbands to work with my hair. So I don't know how these are going to look, but I just feel like I wanted to get a few headbands in just to kind of spice up the hair a bit. I wasn't sure how I'm going to wear them, but and I got a pink one. I think that looks really cool. Can you imagine going on a holiday wearing a denim short? maybe like a white strap a white kind of halter neck top or a black halter neck top and this on the top 
it's gonna make an outfit. So I got that one. That one was mainly for like summertime, but this one's more of a subtle one for winter. Um, and it's just this gorgeous green one with like, it's kind of got like little embroidered circles all around it. Um, and it's just super, super pretty. And I just thought, let's put this one on. Yeah, I just think that one looks really nice with my hair color and it's a little bit more subtle, but I don't want to look that kind of cute look. I was trying to look edgy, but I feel like you have to look cute when you've got these sort of headbands on. But they were two pounds each and I just think, I think it's such a good value for money and when now I've got the shorter hair it's good to have a couple of accessories in that you can like style up your hair and make it look a little bit different because the only thing I can really do it now is I just feel like I can style it much more than when I had it longer because it's got a bit more volume to it and it's more thicker but I'm going to put some curls in it soon see what that looks like but yeah I really love these headbands two pounds two pounds each I've literally got a collection of about 15 of these different styles of headbands now so there's two more to add to my collection there was then a huge Primark shoe section. There was a huge shoe. Oh, just saying how it. There was a huge shoe. I still can't get my words out. There was a huge shoe sale on in Primark. Um, so I picked up these ones. They are gold, um, little sort of wedged heels. This says real leather insole. Um, oh, that's not bad. And they were five, six pounds down from. No, in fact, they were not, Harriet. They were even cheaper. They were three pounds down from ten pounds. And I just thought I will definitely find an occasion to wear these heels. Um, I actually have got a confession to not make. I never really spent any more money than the Primark sale on shoes. I will pay full price for the shoes if I really like them. But at the moment, I usually will just buy loads of shoes in Primark sales, like because you can find some really good ones. And my shoe collection is practically Primark sale high heels over the past like five years and obviously I only wear them on dinners out and like nights out but um for three pounds I think they're great they will look I think these will look really nice right I've got an image here with some ripped mum jeans these heels um some kind of like halter neck black halter neck top or something and just it'll look like a more spiced up evening outfit I really like these, really, really like them. I don't know if they're a vibe, but I like them. I actually couldn't believe the price of this next item, but it's actually come off the top, which is a bit annoying. It's come off the hanger, but one sec. Let's see if I can get it back on the hanger. So I got this bikini top and bikini bottom set. Look how nice this is. It's like beige with black polka dots all over it. It was two pounds for the top and I got it in a size 12 because I am not even joking. The Primark bikini tops in size six and size eight. They don't even cover the, you don't even cover like a quarter of your boob. So I, I sized up to a size 12 and that literally um, will fit me perfect. I then picked up the matching bikini bottoms in a size 8. They were £2 each. Um, the reason I got them now is we are definitely not going on holiday until the end of the year this year. But me and Lou were sort of planning in October time to go away for quite a few weeks. Um, I think we're going to do a bit of exploring. That's the plan this year. Um, so we're thinking of doing a long, long holiday in October and then possibly another long holiday in January, as in like we're talking like two or three weeks, um, exploring a place. So I thought if I picked up some bikinis now throughout the year, then I am sorted for our holidays at the end of the year. And I just think it's really nice. And they were £2 each and I just think for two for £4 pounds for a bikini, I mean, you just can't go wrong. Um, I don't actually know if I'll have the guts to wear these bikinis, but I'm feeling it much better in myself at the moment since cutting out alcohol and takeaways the whole of January. So maybe if I keep it up all year, I'll be looking like a bikini model not <laughs> I then picked up some fleecy socks why you'd never why you couldn't cannot go into Primark without picking up a packet of two cozy socks and um, they are one pound 80 and yeah they're super cozy super fleecy love them I then picked up two pack two scrunchies and a pack of two no Harry it's not a pack of two it's a pack of three they were a pound and I picked the black ones up because I've got this kind of cute vibe I'm gonna do with my hair Um, now it's shorter I'm thinking of like half putting it up in a scrunchie and having the rest down. I just think it'll look really nice. Um, so at the moment I'm just styling it behind my ear and then just straight down at the front here. But I feel like a little scrunchy in it, a few ways, it'll look really cute and effortless. How you don't look cute? Edgy and effortless. Well, I don't know how scrunchy can look edgy, but you know what I mean. It'll look cool and um, I feel like it's a vibe for a pound. You just can't go wrong. I then just got a plain black strappy top, literally a plain stra strappy top. Extra small, £2.50, wear them under all my tops and on, on, under, under all my clothes. It's an extra layer at this time of year. Even wear them under stuff at work. They're just cosy and comfy. And so I got these. How any girl with longer hair goes through life without 
using these? I do not know. They're just a pack of um, hair clips to divide your hair. I use them for just styling my hair up a little bit in a little thing if it's in my way, or when I'm straightening my hair and d dividing it up after I've been washing it, I just use these, and I literally don't know where they go. Like, I literally do not understand where these go. They disappear. I have six here. They will only last a few weeks, and they'll be gone. Like, I have literally probably bought about 20 of these over the last couple of months, and I have one left. One left in my beauty drawer. Like, not beauty drawer, Harriet. You don't have a beauty table. In my little, um beauty box thingy and I literally got one left so I needed some more so I got some more a pound bargain with the shorter hair I thought this might be a vibe um I always wear my hoop but I feel like a, a silver hoop um these silver hoops I kind of lost my last few packets of silver hoops hoops for one pound fifty I picked up some more and I just think they'll look really cool with my hair and an all black outfit silver with an all black outfit it'll look really cool and yeah they're one pound fifty and I just feel like a hoop with shorter hair is gonna look really good so I love these I then picked up some stationery in Primark which is not like me I don't usually check the stationery sec section out but I got this three um, A6 notebooks £1.50 they've got a gold one if you can see I don't know if you can see a gold one it's not really going to focus but it's a gold one a leaf one and a black stripy one at the back and I think this I like the um, leaf one and the gold one I think they're just going to look so cute with this gorgeous pen I love this pen so much it looks professional but snazzy at the same time if that can even be a thing um if you guys have been following my YouTube for a while, you'll know that I... Is it going to focus? You'll know that I love the Poundland fa Fancy Pens. But this one's upgrading slightly. It's £1.50. A little bit more pricier than my Poundland pens. But I think this one looks really classy and I love the dots. And together, I feel like I'm going to be a, a boss businesswoman with these two box, these two together. Do, do, do. Next thing I picked up was sunglasses. Now you probably think this is a really weird thing to pick up in Primark in January when they have no sun whatsoever. But I just feel like you need to pick up sunglasses fast in Primark. They are gone by like spring. So I picked up these ones. Right, one sec. I'm going to try and get this. They were three pounds. So I'm just trying to try and get the tickets off them so you can get a vibe with me. Now, these ones are a little bit out there. But when I tried them on, obviously I just got my hair done. So I was like to my mum, what do you think? Like, new me, new glasses. I'm trying to get this a little bit off here. Here we are. New me, new glasses. I feel like these are so cool. They're a bit out there, but just can you imagine side view? I like I'm really sassy with these. And I'm picking up my new car tomorrow when I film this. This will be going up the day I pick my new car up. It's a black Audi TT. And I just feel like this is a bit of sass. You know what I mean? I'm not sassy at all, but I just thought this would be really cool. So I picked up these ones, um, and yeah, three pounds a bag in. I then picked these ones up for more of a kind of, they're my sassy glasses. <laughs> that goes. They're my sassy glasses, and these are my edgy glasses. Right, can I get the tickets and stuff off them first before I show you them? They were my sassy glasses for the days where I'm just feeling a little bit edgy. No, a bit sassy. These are my edgy glasses. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are my... I don't want to wear like diva glasses, but I'm going to wear some circle glasses, you know? These are my these are my, my cooler glasses on the days I want to feel more cool. But yeah, they are my two pairs of glasses. I was totally joking there, guys. I don't think I'm sassy or oh, think I'm cool. But um, I just thought they're kind of cool pairs of glasses that for £3 each, they will do this summer. And um, I never spend too much money on prime, on sunglasses because... I am useless and I just will lose them. And they're UV protection um, category three, so I'm assuming that means it protects your eyes. So go on you, Primark. Woohoo. And that is everything I picked up in Primark. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I think it's going to be super long here because at the moment my camera says, this video is 22 minutes long. OMGs, how am I going to cut this down? Um, thank you so much for watching this Primark haul, guys. I'm popping into Primark again in a few more days because that one month ban was legit the worst month of my life. No, it wasn't really, but um, I wanted to go back in there and pick up another pair of them jeans. So if I see more stuff when I'm in there, there could be another Primark haul coming up soon on this channel. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try and withhold a withdraw I'm going to home bargains and a few of the shops soon so there's gonna be loads of cool hauls on my channel over the next couple of weeks so don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss it so yeah thank you so so much for watching and I will see you all real soon in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.